how to trisect any angle with a compass and straight edge on not using any of the markings on there but any line this is trisection at any angle doesn't matter first thing you want to do is find perpendicular bisector that will make making an arc once we hook that perpendicular bisector Accuracy is important. Get right on the points. Now the perpendicular by using the lines from the arc. And once I have these, we'll create a circle from the center on the point of the intersection of the lines to the point that intersects the original lines we're trying to trisect. Now we make two more circles from the edges there with the point of intersection of the us, with the perpendicular to the, the, the lines that we're trying to trisect to the center. Now once we have those, we connect the inner points <coughs> of intersection to each other. So a couple of varying rules, and that which I'll go over afterwards. Then from the bottom well, to the top of the first circle where it intersects the bisector. Once we have those, now this trisects the, the line here, but now you want to transduce that trisection to the, the arc of degrees. And to do that, let me set this to the point where these two intersect. So they create the circle where it intersects the arc, the inner circle. Now we simply just draw from the point of origin here straight through the point of intersection of the inner circle now we can check what what we have here starting with 39 degrees so was slightly off with that circle. So 12, 26, and 41, or you can see a 26 here and 31. So with 13 was the one. This one was slightly off. But if you get the uh, lines on for the video, I'll be taking my time. 
that you can see here. Several examples. If you take your time, you can get them right on. And this one here is 41 degrees, 13.6 degrees. Here's a 60 degree. Now, after 60, you'll notice here the Vesica Pisces on 60 hits right on the line there. New rule imply after that, you simply follow the Vesica Pisces outside the lines there to get the trisection. See for this, we're coming outside the lines. Now, once you exceed again the next 20 degrees at 80 degrees, you start to use where the upper Vesica Pisces is in the trice to get the trisection, and that will always give you the trisection there. At 81 degrees, 27 degree per trisection. Now, it's also, this shows you right angle improves the fifth axiom, Euclid's postulate, but you see here when you're using it on a right angle, on a right angle, it'll actually hit dead center when it hits 90 degrees, proving it's a right angle. And it's because these form, that's just the, whenever you, no matter what size circle you would create, this would always fall on a, on a 90 degrees. Or here's 120 degrees. Now on a full cir unit circle, you can simply trisect each side of 90. So here we have a trisection of 120 degrees, forming uh, nine trisections of 40. And smaller angles, well, 13 degrees works just as well. It's for any angle. Once here's a five, a pentagon uh, trisect it, and then that's tri the 15 is then trisected to give you 45, and you automatically always have the perpendicular bisector. So that's a, a division of 90. Circle here's 36. And thank you for viewing.